Hello guys, do you want to know how the find command works in Bash script? Because this command will be very very useful in the upcoming topics. So we must learn how the find command works. So without making any delay, let's move on to our screen and let's get started. Understand this, let's go to one of our test folder, okay? Go to create a test folder and then inside the test folder, I will create some documents, okay? text document I will name the first one as test one and let's create one more test two and then let me create one more document test three okay there are three documents I have created now let's write few things okay how this find str works for this let's write few things let's say I'm going to write Rakesh uh, Rakesh Kumar and I'm saying He's an Indian. Okay. Let's say I'm writing Stephen. Let's say he's from US. Um, let's say I'm writing John Miller. Let's say he's from UK. Okay. So I'm writing all you know, a couple of things. And then I'm writing, let's say, Lauren. Carol is from, uh, let's say, what? Uh, US okay so I have written few names so let's save this save this file and let's go to the test 2 document and the test 2 document what I'm going to do um, I'm going to copy paste that and I'm going to add one more name Rohit Verma let's say he's also he's also Indian okay and let's copy this to this one third document and here I will have uh, Rohi Verma I have written okay anyways so I will write uh, Shushil Saha is an Indian let's say okay so now here my job is using find string from this three files I have to find how many Indians are there okay so how to do that so let's move on to our bash script and let's write the first what we will do all these files are there inside a given directory we'll first copy that path and i'm going to say cd move into that directory this is very important so that it will execute from that location okay so once i go there i need to use the find command so let's see how what is the find command and how that what are the syntaxes for find command if you type help find on your command prompt there are a couple of switches that you see B, C, N, I, and a lot of things. Okay, not to worry. I'm going to explain uh, each one of them in a very simple way. So here, my job is to find Indian. So what I will write in double quotes, I'm going to write Indian. Okay, and I have to search through all the files. One is one way is you can write the file names like the text dot like you know you have to continue to write. So test two dot txt ensure no spelling mistake, and then I have to write test three dot txt. Then I have to write text. Oh yeah, three three are there, right? Yeah. So if you write this way, even this is going to function. Okay. So for example, if I save this and let me run it, a file not found. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, all I have to do is instead of a comma, you have to give it a space. Okay. Commas are not required. So save it and let's run it. So if you see what is the output that has come, it is saying in test one there is a Rakesh who is an Indian. In test two there are no Indians. In test three there are two Indians. Okay, Rakesh Kumar, Sushil Saha. Uh, I think in test two also there was an Indian, right? Did I make some spelling mistake? Let's see. Test 2, didn't I save it? Mm, I did not save it. Copy, paste, and let's say I'm going to make Rohit Gupta. Rohit, okay, Rohit Sa, Indian. So let me save it, okay. So now, all, uh, so what is what this uh, script is doing when I run the script? The script is actually checking where where that indian word is there that entire line it is pulling it out do you see only indian so in this one there are two indians and in this one there are another two indians so it is pulling the entire line you understood 
how it is working it is searching through every all the lines inside the test document and uh, and it is pulling the entire line okay for example this one rakesh kumar and uh, rohi verma uh, where is that i did not save the documents properly no okay for example in the test if you see rohit saha okay so rohit saha has appeared rohit saha okay so you have understood how this one is functioning now there are a couple of switches i am going to talk about okay let me close some of the windows now let's see some of the switches that are available so one of the switch is saying a forward slash b so what is the meaning of that it displays all lines not containing the specified string so which are those lines let's say i would like to know who are those people who are not indians let's say if i, I would like to know that all i have to do here i will say uh, forward slash v by writing this so this is one way of writing okay the another way of writing is i don't want to write everything right all the file names so i will simply say txt even this is going to do the job so if i'm going to run this you can see the output has appeared and it is now giving because i have written the which switch i have written slash v displays all lines not containing the specified strings so you can see all other lines from all of the three documents have been pulled out so this one you have understood now there is another switch okay there is another switch the switch is slash c displays only the count of lines containing the string it, it will only display the count of lines so what would happen slash v means not right and then i am putting a slash c save it and run the script if you run the script what exactly it is saying in text 3 there are three non indians and this one three and this one three that is the meaning okay now if i if you if you remove like this you can play i mean this will be this is quite interesting uh, let's say i would like to know the indians how many count of indians are there so i'll simply say s yes, i'll remove that v uh, and then run it okay so it is saying in every file in the first file one indian two indian two indians in the test3 uh, test3.txt file getting it all right now let's learn the another uh, another switch the next switch let's learn what is the next switch so the next switch is uh, slash n what is slash n displays line numbers with the displayed lines line number i mean where is that rakesh is it in the first line or is it, is it in the second or third or fourth right it's ask it is telling you where exactly that line is let's say this is in the first in the, if, if i open the test 2 uh, it is in first and last right it will show you the line number that is the meaning so what i will do i will say line n okay which line i don't want the so you can experiment like this so you can see it is saying 1 2 so remove the c if you want, would like to see because this is only showing the count right it only shows the count so let me run it so now it is saying rakesh kumar is in the first line if there are multiple lines then it helps you so it is in the fifth line it is in the fifth line it is in the first line okay in the test 3 so this is how you are getting the output which is great all right now let's look at the uh, another switch okay i i means what for example what if you type indian in all in capital okay indian now if you search if you run this particular script what is happening it is actually not showing you any output see all blank now in this case what will you do in this case if it is case if you wanted to ensure doesn't matter if you want to make it case insensitive i stands for insensitive if you would like to make case insensitive simply type i okay let me type in small letter so it makes sense uh, i mean it appears like l right so so now if i run it okay now you can see it has worked getting it so you have learned all the switches now there is another form in which the uh, find uh, command can be used what is that another form let me show you if i type echo okay and i'm saying hello world and i'll use a pipe symbol rather than providing a text file the output of this command will become input for the next command by using a pipe symbol and here i am writing find and i will what let's say i would like to find h okay you can write a word alphabet doesn't matter so in this word we have h yes or no 
So what will be the output of this entire line? The output will be the entire sentence. Like in the text, it was showing the entire line. The, uh, wherever it matches, it's showing the first, you know, the entire line. Same way, it will show the entire output of this. So it will print hello world. Okay. Now you will say, Rakesh, what is the use of this? I'll show you in the upcoming video. This is very, very useful. This pipe symbol will be very useful. Uh, that's why I'm teaching this. So here you can see hello world has appeared. Great. Now what we will do, we are going to copy the same sentence. Okay. And I'm going to make this hello world to let's say by world. Oh no, no. <laughs> uh, we'll put some other sentence. Uh, hello, hi world. Okay. Hi world. So let me save it and uh, let's run this. Okay. So this H has, uh, okay, let me write something else now. Not, something not starting with H. Hi, hello. Good morning world. Okay. Okay, good world. So if I do this, so you can see only the first sentence has appeared and the second sentence did not appear. Getting it. Wherever there is not a match, that means it will it will like, there will be no output of this line. The line number six will go, I mean, uh, go in vain. I mean, it will not find anything. So with this, we can uh, implement something called error level. Okay. For example, if you say echo, echo percentage, error level percentage. So for this line, let me copy this, paste it here. See for both the lines, it will show the, it will display. So if I run this, so what happened? Hello world for the first output zero. Zero means it is successful. One means it is not successful. Okay. Error level also I have created a complete video in my playlist. Uh, please do have a check. All right. So with this we have learned lot many things and I am telling you this one will be pretty useful. This pipe symbol. Okay. Pipe symbol and then writing and before that you can write any command. So what is that? We are going to see it in the next video. It will be very interesting. So let's move on to our next topic.